So what I've tried to do is take out all of the problems that a new installer might experience, and even during the interview process, what questions might I be asked. So if we're a new installer, first thing I gotta do is I have to, gotta get the tools. Okay, so I got my brake. Uh, now I have to get a truck, underst understood. You have to have your attorney general license. You have to have your insurance. Not required by me, but required by the state of Pennsylvania. As an installer myself, every convenience helps, especially because it's such a physically demanding job. We have a dumpster sitting right here in a large parking lot, so it's very easy to get in and get out to throw out all of your material, which we pay for again. No cost to you whatsoever. You just bring your materials here and we throw them out. We also have different size loading bays. We have a truck height, box truck, tractor trailer, and also what you can do is drive your pickup truck in, which a lot of guys do. We'll drive the pickup truck in. At that point, you're into the staging area where the windows are, where the coil caulk and foam and trim is. So it's very easy for you to load, get in, and get out. So just picture it, because I've done many years of not being able to do that. You don't have any of that here. We have all the materials ready for you. And when extremely necessary, I do have a person that can help deliver windows to the jobs for you and bring materials. In certain crunches, when you did miss something, we will have a gentleman available to bring that to you to make the installation go smoothly for you. Let me explain what staging is and why it's so important to so many of the installers. Nobody likes to get here at 6.30, 7, 7.30, and then have to run and get your coil, your caulk, your foam, all the materials that you're gonna to need to do a proper installation for the day. Even more important to me is a new group of installers uh, who just got into this business. If I've gotta go out and buy 10 rolls of coil and a bunch of foam and a bunch of caulk, I might have to lay out $2,500, $3,000 to get started. I had to buy a new brake, a truck. What we've done is lessen some of that expense to you and made it more convenient. You can come here, you can pick up your caulk, you can pick up your foam, you can pick up your coil stock. We have everything here ready and it's staged for every single job that's about to go out to be installed. So it saves not only your time in the morning or at night, I've done it, you're exhausted, the end of the day comes and now I've got to run and get all my materials to be ready for the next day again because you really can't afford to go out and spend all of this money um, up front. So we have that all set for all of our installation teams. The point I want to make on the windows is that everything's on an easy cart. So with one finger, I can move your whole order. You're not dragging the windows from the back of the warehouse up to, to your truck. That's number one. Number two, a picture on the sides here of uh, the numbers, okay? Each window is numbered. The reason for the numbering on these windows is because I've been there and made mistakes myself. You have got a 20 window job. I get to the end and two windows in my mind I think are mismeasured. They're short three quarters of an inch or an inch or half an inch. The reason is is because you put window one in window six opening. Window six that I measured you put in window 12 opening. They're all mixed up. Well now when we measure, my measure puts a number on the window and I come out here and match that to the window that goes to that opening. So anybody can know that window one goes to window one opening, window two to two, three to three, four to four. It helps tremendously than going to have to measure each window, then coming and measuring these windows. These windows have been checked against what we ordered to make the process very, very easy. And as I said, everything is staged on carts. You just come in and pick up your order with your materials. It's moved out to your vehicle and away you go. So in this area, all of our trim for our, our brick molding, for our doors, to uh, any of our window molding, we have clear, we have white, we have uh, J-channel if, if, if need be, we have colonial molding, both the two and a quarter and um, three and a half. Every type of molding in every situation, we have already staged a job, we know what the job is going to need based on our expediter being at the house, so all of those materials are ready, along with your coil, your caulk, and your foam, tied to the windows on the carts, ready to load at one of the three bays, which makes it so easy for you to get in and out of here. And when your job's done, you come and pick up your next job. You just throw everything in the dumpster, which is conveniently located right outside here. Another important part of our installation process is that we don't just go in and again, the house not really up to snuff as far as uh, people taking care of it doesn't mean we don't. I provide drop cloths to all of our installers. We expect them to be put down 
underneath the windows, in walkways. Some people will ask you to put on booties, which we understand. It's very important that these are put down and that the vacuuming process at the end is done very thoroughly. You don't get reviewed. I get reviewed. And the reviews online are significant to me getting additional business. And people are reviewing me on just about anything that's possible. I'll think I'll do a great window installation, but I didn't put a drop cloth. I think I did a great job, but my guys didn't clean the windows. I think I did a great job, but you didn't tilt the windows in to make sure that they worked for the customer. Those little things matter to people. And it's just the way of the world. It works for me and probably you too. If you're gonna buy a new car or whatever it is, you're gonna first go on the internet, you're gonna look at the Google reviews, 800 Google reviews, 4.7 stars, you probably don't even go any further. That's what I do. That's what's important to our company. These little things matter. Wearing our logos and our t-shirts because when you go up to the house, your, your truck isn't logoed um, because you are a subcontractor and they don't even know who you are. So it's important that you go to the door, you introduce yourself, you have our logoed apparel on. That is very, very important. And this looks professional when you show our drop cloth. The reason for it is to set us apart from just some old drop cloth covered in paint and whatever. You found somebody's t-shirt or your, your dog's bed cover and you brought it and threw it below a window and then called that uh, uh, covering the, the customer's interior uh, flooring or furniture, which is very important. I've been in homes where the, where the furniture looks like crap. The installer's banging away, uh, putting something in, and then he takes his hammer and he puts it on their bureau. He puts it on their chest of drawers. He puts it on their bed. Okay, we don't do that. Whether that bed's worth a dollar, it just does not matter. We treat that house with the utmost respect. You wanna treat that house as though it's your own. Take this serious because uh, we certainly do. We are not going to do any shortcuts as far as how we cap, what capping materials we use, how much of the jam is covered, with the aluminum to prevent any type of water damage in the future. And we do have workshops now and again where we'll bring in outside vendors who will explain new things that are available to make the capping process better. We are a high-end window company and we expect perfection all throughout the installation. I can get the best window in the world, but it all starts right here. What we're gonna show you now is a box cap which is what we don't want to do in any situation that we can help if custom capping is required based on the surface of the wood that exists. That's not what we want to do. That's a simple box cap. Now we're going to show them the correct way to custom cap this exterior trim, which most times falls on replacement doors, but it is also in certain situations on sills and people who have custom molding on the exterior of their home. The reason for this video is I know a lot of people come here with their own experience thinking they know what's best, but reality is I offer a lifetime warranty and we sell specifically very custom, very high-end PVC capping that we don't just put on the home um, and hope it looks good. They expect it to look good. We miter all the corners. I'll show you that shortly. We don't face nail. I will show you that shortly. Um, but let's get over here and see what Tom's doing. This is what it will look like. As you can see the difference, this is our box cap, and this actually took some ability. <laughs> anyone with the new brake, anyone that was in this business for 20 minutes could do a box cap. Custom capping, whole different world. That's what we expect done on our jobs. So continuing our workshop, if we take a look at the interior of these windows, sometimes we'll be putting new flat stock molding, sometimes we'll put a new sill on the interior, uh, but most importantly, the window has to look completely finished. We don't leave anything that the customer would believe is their job uh, after paying the prices that they do from us for a high-end uh, window. We'll use either a shoe molding or a three-quarter round molding around the interior. All the corners have to be mitered. When you're installing the nails, we expect them to be countersunk and use some type of wood putty to fill that hole. You're not required to paint, but the customer is expecting it to be paint ready. If it does need caulking on the inside, the caulk that we use are the high-end OSI Quad Max, the GE uh, Advanced. All of those are paintable within 30 minutes for the customer. So if we did need to use caulk on the interior, the customer is also expecting that. What other issues can you have on the interior of the home? Customers are going to expect you to move their furniture. Some of them are older. 
they're not going to be able to move all of that furniture on their own. That is something that we do here as a courtesy to our customers. In addition to that, blinds. Take a look at the blinds. If there's blinds on the window, or originally have two inches or three inches and the blinds are there, you can't turn around and put the window and set it in further on the sill so that the customer now cannot reinstall their blinds. Build the window out, then you have to build the window out. I know it's much, much easier from installing myself. Just bring the window in, slap it right up against the interior. You lose your sill, which they hate. You lose the blinds, which they hate. We don't do that here at Green Eco Solutions. You can see what's important to us. Most windows have a 45 degree angle in the corners. We continue that look for the customer to make it seamless. We get many compliments. Yes, it's more work for the installation department and the installer, but we insist that those miters uh, are put on every single window. You can see how we do our J channel, the same when we do our siding jobs. So it's all consistent, very nice, follows straight through on the window, right through the parting bead, through the exterior part of the sash, and it looks very uniform. Everything we do is custom capping. There is no capping where you will find it hollow. I know it's much easier to do a simple box cap, but we do not do that. We use PVC capping on all of our jobs. We expect it to be custom capping. We want the capping brought up to the J channel, and then we have a seam on the exterior of the window where we will bend the aluminum into that and then cap it. Water drainage is obviously the most important part when you're using your caulking and your capping as you guys well know doing this. Uh, if you're new, I'm telling you that it's very important because offering a lifetime warranty, they are the issues that I'll, I'll get. Some simple examples, there's a weep hole on the exterior of the windows. Some guys will caulk that. The window sill fills, <laughs> water runs into the house, uh, big issue, causes an insurance claim, problems for everyone. When this job is done, we expect all of the capping to be wiped down, no fingerprints or anything left on the exterior. On the interior, all of the stickers taken off, all of the windows wiped down clean. We expect a shop vac taken out, and I've been there. I've been in houses that are filthy, disgustingly filthy, where I had to hold my breath most of the time I did the work. But let me tell you, when I vacuumed up it that day, that was the cleanest that house had been in 15 years. You don't get to choose just because the house is a pigsty that you think you can skip doing any of that type of work. For example, not taking the stickers off, not vacuuming, and not making that job look beyond perfect because I'm looking for additional work. You may take that one job and be on to the next one. I live with this customer forever. I expect this job to be done perfect because referrals and word of mouth are very important to my company. Continuing on as part of the completion process, which we'll take a look at when we're actually in the field, is we expect these windows to be tilted in, sliders to be moved back and forth, casements, awnings, all to be opened and closed. I can't tell you how many times you'll leave the job, didn't take a moment to do that, and the customer's calling me up and telling me that one window you just can't tilt in, probably maybe because you put too much foam, it expanded too much, pushed the jams in, and now that window won't even slide up and down or might not tilt in. All of that is what is expected here uh, in the compensation that we provide because I'm trying to get more work, which in a sense gives you more work. Working for yourself, you have the option to purchase a $1.99 tube of caulk or a $3 can of foam, or some smooth PVC coil that after a short period of time, you can wipe your hand down and I've got white all over my, my hands um, because maybe the customer only paid $300 or $400 for your installation and window. That's not what they're paying for mine, so that's why I require the OSI Quad Max or the GE Advanced uh, PVC uh, capping is because I offer a lifetime transferable warranty. I need those materials used on these jobs to give me the unfair advantage when I'm pricing these jobs. So I know you might want to challenge me and tell me your way is better and you've been doing it for 100 years and I never have leaks. That's all great, but here where I'm responsible, my family's responsible, this is the way that I expect these jobs to be done. No questions asked. When you're working here, whatever he told you, forget it because I need it done my way so that I know that job is done properly and I can offer my lifetime warranty. This video you watched was prior to you being hired and I appreciate you taking the 15 or 20 minutes it is to listen to me ramble on. But it's rather, I'm trying to do this so we have a great relationship starting from the onset of what I'm expecting and then in the interview you can let me know whether this fits into your 
uh, wheelhouse or it doesn't. I welcome you, I need some great crews, I enjoy installations, and I'm open also. We have meetings frequently, just had donuts and coffee and everything this morning. We review different materials and issues that the guys are having, and I'm always open uh, for new ideas to make things run smoother. So if you decide to join us, I'm very glad to have you and welcome aboard.